Right, I hope you can see this now. I've got these to finish. Um, I'm going to make the flowers to go with them. So I just have to attach all of these. They're done. Are they done? Yeah, I did do them. Yeah, so I've just got that one to attach. So we'll take this one. And now I'm going to make the flower that goes with that. Um, now, I'm going to do... Well, yeah, I'm going to mix it, I think. And do the flower... No, I'm not. No. <laughs> it doesn't look right. Well, I could do it, but I don't. I'm choosing not to. So, I'm taking some of this. I'm going to do, oh, 12, 20 inches. Where's my scissors? 20 inches. And do a flower. So again, I need my um, lighter to burnish the ends like that on both ends, and then we just take that wire out. And save it, obviously. Just pull that in there. And what I'm going to do is just a normal st uh, stocking stitch. But I'm going to fold that over to start with. So just fold the, co um, the corner over. Do a tacking stitch and then we just sew to the end and then I'm going to go that way because I need to hold it this way and then sew to the end, right to the very end, just doing a stocking stitch. There he comes, plonk his self down. <laughs> he makes me laugh every time he does it. Because <laughs> he just, he does literally just plonk his self down. That's Joey. I can't wait for warm weather to come because we need to film him again, don't we? Playing and whatever. Right, so I've got to that end turn it back right, and that's it it goes that way oh let me make sure I've got my thread the right way silly old fee come on that's it I haven't but I have now And we take the other end and we just pull those two together. So we've got that and we're just going to pull them together like that. And then we're going to stitch these two like that. Kind of like makes half a fan. See like that. Hmm. That's too big really. It's too big. Let me just see if that bow's bigger. Too let me just see. That's better on that one. No, we'll do that one. So I'm gonna sew this in place. Instead of waiting for the glue gun, I want that there. And then we'll sew the top section in as well.
poor him has just gone to the doctors again. He's, he's just not feeling right. And he's got this cough he can't get rid of. But it's the tiredness. He's just feeling tired and weak. More weak than tired, I think. So I hope he's alright. There we are, we've got that. Yeah, I like that. I'm just going to take the back and stitch it. Now, as you know, it's um, Julie's funeral tomorrow. I'm, I'm dreading it. I, we all are, but I'm, I'm just dreading it. It's really, going to be really hard to say goodbye to her. And um, but we have to. It's part of life, isn't it? Right. So I'm just going to put something on the back of that. Where did I put those? I had a bag of them. What did I do with them? There we are. I've got them here. Just gonna should be hot enough again, I think. It'll do. It'll do. So we've got that. I just have to do like a centre for it. Let me just see. Oh, love that. This is the last one I've got on all. I think. Another glue stick, mate. I'll just pop that in there like that. Oh yes, so pretty. And I need to start using up some of these things that I've made. Like that, beautiful. And I'm just going to pop that one in. Like that. Now that can go on a headband, you don't need to put tails on them, they can go on headbands, but I'm going to leave that like that. Um, first, whoever wants it can put it on a headband. So let's have a look at this one. Now we have these sort of uh, doilies, and we do sell these in the shop. Let me just see, if I, have I got four of them? Let me get another one. I'll need to get another one and we'll do a different way. So that's four. Just excuse me a minute while I get another one. Sorry about this, I thought I had four there. There we go. Not the ones I found. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do with these now is I'm going to fold these in half and then fold them again. I'm going to just pop in a bit of glue like that and I'm going to pop that on there again fold that in half half again a little bit of glue in there some there I'm 
we're going to pop that, that's open that side, there. And we'll do the same again. I think that's that way. That way. We've got all of these in the shop. pop that in there like that didn't want to mark that <coughs> there we go oh and then I have one of these <coughs> Now I've just put those things I've made this morning up for sale and please if you can and if you want to please join um, I'm going to re-put the video up about joining my YouTube channel uh, to support me so I hope you um, those who haven't think about it you know it's $2.99 a month for you to come along and support my channel and you get extra videos and various other things. Now, do you remember when I made that the other day? I'm going to use that one. Do you remember I used them at the teardrop pearls that we uh, sell and then the seed bead? Well, I'm going to do that. And use it. Because that's what they're there for. That's nice. It's a different one. Again, let me just glue these two together. Oh, that's done. I used that separate, didn't I? Never mind. It's all right. I'm talking to myself. Ignore me. <laughs> I do often. Right, I'm just going to cut another one of these. Yeah, um... Please join. You go to the join button that's under the videos or on the uh, home page and click on the join button. And uh, if you've got PayPal, it will sort you out and come along and join because you're going to get extra, extra videos. Now, let's put this on the back. I'm going to cut this one down slightly, I think. Don't need it as big. Pull it on there. Like that. And then let's choose something else for the centre. another one of those I do like them I mean at the end of the day you know they're pretty aren't they now like I said yesterday I've got tons of stuff coming in lots of beads and bling and some more trims see they're nice aren't they like that just a little bit of difference between them all Okay, so I've got one more to do and I'm going to use another one of those because I do like these. I think they're really pretty. Yeah, so like I say, I'm going to reload the video up um, about joining the channel because a lot of people haven't seen it yet. 
and uh, I want them to see it and to come along. We'll be doing another one for our members today. I might do it next actually. There's another one that can oh yeah. Let's have a look, see what else we've got. Oh, do you know, I'll put that one on. These are the ones we have in the shop. Well, there we go. And I love them. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? So that's another bow. These will all be in the shop for sale. And I'm, I think what I'm going to do is... Let's do a kit. Let's do a kit. Right, I'm going to do a kit. I'm going to use the large one. That's the for that one. And, yeah, I think we'll do a kit. So, let me get my ruler out. Because you need 12 inches of this. See what we can do for a kit and to be honest i want to give you everything to make yourself including the center so i might just do that right i'm not going to seal these off you can do all of that yourself but that's going to be the bow the big bow then we've got the smaller bow again i'm going to cut that at uh, 10 inches yep you don't need it any more than that if you don't want to go out you know for those who don't want to go and buy the ribbon you can buy the kit so that's that now we need one of these and why not make a kit for you I know you like kits so you've one of those, they look beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Now what I'm going to do is also include one of these. And just trim them down, make sure they're... Okay. So we're going to give you one of those as well. Because you can put both together. You can do whatever you like. And um, we're going to need pink beads so that's two four five. I have to make sure you get the same beads because some are different shapes six of those beads and then one let's have a look just two oh no I know what I'll do Six of those, and then we want six spaces to go in between them. Let me make sure I get the right spaces. It's not that one. They're the same, yep. Yep, that's it. So you want the six spaces that go in between that, each of one of those beads, and then you're going to need your main pearl. So we're going to put that in. And in case you want to do a flower, like I've done there, because they're pretty, aren't they? Uh, I'm going to give you a yarn. Yeah, um, did I say 20 inches? So that's 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. That's 20 inches in case you want to do that. And there's a little kit for you to be able to make that bow. That one. We've given you a pearl for the middle, but I'm also going to give you a piece of bling. Yeah, I'm just filming. Let's have a look. We can give you one of those as well. And let's have a look. I think that's it. So there's a little kit for you. A 
large bow, small bow, and your flower and your centers. And there you go. Now let's have a look. So I'm going to put that on the shop if you're interested in that. There's a little, um, and I'll have the picture of that bow. That's what it'll make. Okay. So I shall take the picture of that and, uh, yeah. Where's that other bow? I had a spare one, didn't I? No, I used it. Oh, here we are. So I now, I now need to do this one. Let's have a look. Let's just do that. Take the wire out. Don't forget when you take the wire out, you can use that to put your beads together. So I'm going to do exactly that. One, two, three, four. Make sure they're all the same. Five, six. And I'm going to use six of these. One, two, that one's a little bit small. Five, six. There we go. Got the same. You could also use roundels. So I'm going to put, join it together so you'll be able to copy this video and just twist at the end just to hold them together. So, bead. Roundel bead roundel oops oh it's come on done let's have a look. There we go. Nearly there. There we go. Oh my, come on. And then the last roundel. So we've got that. And then you just do that with them and it makes them look really special and pretty. Twist. Let me use my pliers. Tuck that underneath and there you go, see? And then all I've got to do then is to pop on a bead or a flower centre. Um, I'm not sure if my flower centres are going to be big enough. For, oh, here's one. Here's one that'll do. Oops. I think we can put that in the centre. And I'm just gluing that in the centre there. And popping that in. Like that. 
Don't worry about excess glue or anything, you can, it scrapes off. Hang on, I'm going to have to go on that again. Right, start that again. Feet and lay it on flat. There you go. Done. Done. And then what you can do is just fill it in a little bit with the glue from the inside. Like that. And then obviously you do need to put it on a little bit of felt. Doesn't matter the size, uh, the colour going to be glued down onto your project so you're not going to see it like that Just pop that down pop that on top and there you go you can trim all that off using some little scissors So that's what you can make or you can use um, a pearl like I said in your little kit. Alright, now we're just going to make the other one to go with it if I've got time. Let me just check, I want to make sure I've got time to do the uh, full one. There we go, oh I've done it. Stupid woman sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> fold it over find the centre bit take your needle and thread so I'm I fold mine over sometimes just to make sure I roughly get it right because if it doesn't go in the middle as it should it can look a bit off right hopefully we'll get this done really quickly Let's have a look. It's about right. Go back down. And then you pull them two together like that. And you can stitch them up. Like that. Snip that off. Attach this to that. like that and then you attach your handmade flower like that but obviously you can put your bling in or whatever you want to do that they're pretty so that's it thanks for watching take care and i'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now